guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be checking out the brand new Fjord Horse variations Star Sable released today and you can find all of them right here in Dundle. So yeah, without any further ado, let's head to these stables and check them out. Okay you guys, here we are and we have three brand new and also very different colors of the new Fjord horse over here. Let's start on the right with this white Fjord horse which has beautiful blue eyes. I honestly really like this one which I did not expect because when I took a look at the website and at the pictures they released, I was a little bit like... Hmm, these might not be my favorite, but the white one is definitely so cute. I like this a lot. I am glad that this one doesn't have these weird things on the legs like these have because, you know, it kind of looks odd. And now, the tail. Well, honestly, it's not bad. I actually think it's kind of good. Let me hide my interface for a second so you can see it more clearly. Yeah, I do like the tail so much more than on this one. Look at that, you guys. It's kind of messy. So that is the white Fjord horse. I'm not entirely sure if it's a white or a Cremello or how do you call that? I'm not sure, but let me know down below in the comments what all of these coats are because I'm actually not sure about all of them. Next to the white one, we have this grayish one, which is like a darker gray than the one I already own from my previous Fjord horse video. The tail looks kind of disturbing again. I don't really like that. I don't know why, but the coat, like the shading over here, it's just not my favorite. And I'm not a huge fan of this coat. I think this is my very least favorite out of all of the Fjord horses. I'm honestly more leaning towards the gray one I already own, the Smoky Black Dun, and the one from the Star Sable Horses app. This one's just not my favorite. I wonder if it has those things on the legs again. Well, it has a weird thingy over here, which it makes it look like it's been, you know, hurt or something on the leg but still. Yeah, this grayish one is not really my favorite. You already guessed it. I'm not a huge fan of this one. Don't get me wrong on this though. You are totally allowed to love this horse because my opinion shouldn't affect yours, but still, it's just not my favorite. I guess I could get into it, but honestly, if a horse does not impress me at first sight, I am not going to buy it. And then next to that, probably one of my favorites out of the whole fjord you know, coat range. The tail looks kind of messy again, but I can justify that by just looking at the rest of the horse. It doesn't have these weird things on the legs, and just look at the head. I think they picked beautiful colors for the mane and tail, and I think they match so well with the horse. So because I already have this one that I'm riding, I'm probably gonna get this one on my Nightstar account, and I'm gonna get the white one on my main account, but so far, this one's my favorite, you guys. I don't have a Fjord horse on my Nightstar account yet, and I do want the one from the app on there too, and and yeah, I just really feel like I want this one more right now than the one from the app. Here is a picture of the one in the app, by the way. I really like it. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to be buying the white one. So let's click on the horse, click on buy horse and choose a name. Walrus Gazer. That is just beautiful, but that's not what we're going to pick. I mean, we could, right? We could. Maybe I should do a challenge video like that, just buying a few horses and picking the first name that Star Stable randomizes for me. Is that a great idea? And then I could call it the randomizer challenge. And oh my god, I have so many ideas for in that video right now, but that's for later on probably. Now let's pick a name for real. I want to do something winter-ish because, you know, in the end, these are still fjord horses, which are cold resistant, by the way. And I don't know, it just gives me winter vibes, especially this whitish one. Should I pick Iceberry for this one? Because I really feel like it fits. I mean, I know you can't reply right now, but I'm just thinking and thinking out loud, you know? I think I'm gonna go with Iceberry. So you guys, without any further ado, let's click on OK and check out this new horse that we just bought in our home stable. Okay, let's take out Iceberry. And in this video, I'm also gonna give you a few clips of the new Fjord horses. I am probably not gonna buy the darker gray one. So that one's gonna be left out in today's video, but I am gonna show you the brownish one, the more chestnut one, and then the white one. So the white one is right over here. There's Iceberry. That's so cute. I'm gonna pick out an outfit for this horse and I'll be right back. This red color is actually really cute. Like, I'm liking the red on this one. These like rounder, more tinier saddle pads look really weird on the Fjord horses. I don't know why, but like the edge is a little bit thicker than usually and it looks weird. So yeah, um, maybe Star Sable should fix that. <laughs> Thank you. 
So in the end, I decided to go for blue, which I think is also really cute. And obviously blue reminds me of ice and it fits quite well. So now I'm going to show you guys a few clips of me riding the horse and also a few in which it's wild. So yeah, I hope you like that. Okay, you guys, that was it for the few clips I was going to show you. Now, here we are at Steve's farm to take a look at the main styles for the Fjord horse. I actually kind of like the original mane on it, but there's this more like organized one too, and I think I like this the most, so I'm going to go for this. Then I have all of these three mane styles on my horses, so yeah, here we go. This is my changed mane for this horse. So now that we have done that, let's switch to Nightstar and buy the more Palomino-ish one. Here we are on Nightstar, and it's still so dark over here like it's really dark but we're gonna check out the palomino one anyway here it is and if i am correct i have enough star coins for it yes i do okay great now the hardest part is obviously the name so i'm gonna pick a name and i'll be right back you can probably recognize this but i've been searching for a name for almost 20 minutes now and I finally found something that I like so here is cinnamon crush you guys let's click on okay and buy the horse your new horse is now in your stable so I was thinking because it's so dark we obviously can't see the coat properly so what I'm gonna do is take pictures and use photo mode to make a day right here so you can still see the coat properly so I am going to pick out the horse pick out an outfit and I'll see you guys very very soon excuse me for having a stable that is a huge mess but I'm gonna clean it up let me just go here and <laughs> arrange my horses for a second but anyway here I have my fjord horse with this like sporty red outfit and I like it a lot so yeah what I'm gonna do now is obviously show you guys the pictures that I'm going to take and I hope you like those too <music> Okay, you guys, here I am back at it again. Now let's go to Steve's farm again to check out the main styles on this one over here. So here we are at Steve's farm and let's check out the main styles. So first off, we have this one, which I also bought on my white one that I just bought, of course. And yeah, I kind of like it on this one. Then we have this one, which is like, you know, the bigger triangle-ish main style. And I like it. It's really cute. And then we have the tinier triangle main style. That's what I call it. It's way easier for me to explain it like that but I bought this one on my other Palomino done and I am not gonna buy it again so I'm probably gonna go with this one so let's double click and click on pay with star coins and here we go we have our brand new main style I do want to give you guys a little look at the other main styles which I don't like on the fjord horses honestly I'm just not a huge fan of them I just don't feel like it fits the model and they're just not my favorite so we're gonna stick with this so now I'm going to head back to my main account and tell you a little bit more about the updated silver glade so keep on watching since yesterday, we have received brand new information when it comes to the updated Silverglade area. And Star Stable actually posted a picture of this area over here. And with that, I obviously mean the ground textures, etc. So right here is the picture. You can compare it a little bit with where I'm standing right now. And I'm so, so happy. I love this so much. The only thing I was kind of bummed about is the Silverglade village itself. It does not really, you know, fit the new ground textures and I feel like Star Sable should really update it soon too. I don't think they're gonna update the whole village with the Silver Glade update itself but they might do it later on and if they do I'm very excited. Star Sable also gave us a date for when the new Silver Glade will be released and it's actually next week the 21st of November and I'm really excited. And with that little bit of exciting news we have come to the end of today's video. Quick side 
side note before I go, the horse market is now open in Fort Pinza, and I know I keep forgetting to say this, but I will try to do it from now on. Anyway, I want to thank you so, so much for watching, and I really hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like the video so I know that you did. If you want to see more videos of mine, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll never, ever miss out on my videos. And yeah, I really hope we'll see you on Saturday with probably the video idea I mentioned earlier in this video. Bye, guys!